can't forget the day we met Your eyes so blue, me piercing through I can't forget the day we met Your smile so bright, it made me small Our love is like a summer's day Hot sun and less in a magic way Whenever I see you all I can think is my summer Good morning, everyone. This is Artie, the Vintage Stitcher. Today is Tuesday, May 11th. Um, we have a lot of new subscribers. For, so for anybody who doesn't know, I am filming. Sorry, my eyes are a little fleshy today. Um, it's early in the morning. <laughs> it's like 6.15 this morning again. And I'm now quite ready to go to work. Anyway, I am filming from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. So... Let me see. Well, you have the mitt part of Michigan, and then you have this up, up here in this part of Michigan, like this. I live right about there on the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. So that is where I'm filming from. Um, we are still not getting very nice summery weather up here. It is, um, it's only been in the 40s and 50s the last couple of weeks. So it's, it's spring-like, but it's not... It's not warm. Um, it's not warm enough to be running around in shorts and t-shirt yet. It's not warm enough to be planting anything yet. Um, <clears throat> I don't normally start planting until after Memorial Day um, because I'm 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 lazy by nature. So <laughs> a lot of people have started planting, but then they're out there every night covering covering their plants because we are getting frost every morning still. Um, there's still frost on the cars when we wake up in the morning and we still kind of have to warm things up and defrost a little bit. So usually after Memorial Day, um, which is for anybody who lives out of the States is um, May 31st. It's the last Monday of May is we celebrate Memorial Day. And um, that is usually when our weather is nice enough to really kind of plant and be safe. Um, it's been rare, rare occasions where we've had frost in June, but it's very, very rare. So I'm up early this morning filming because I did not, haven't filmed since Saturday. I have um, a lot to go over with you guys today. Um, I'm putting the video together thinking I don't have much, but I do, I have quite a bit. Um, I stick around through the video. I have an opinion I need from you guys. I have a little surprise that I am planning for this stitch along. Um, but I need some opinions and if you want to search for clues, I'm going to give you a clue today, but then if you go back to, I don't know if it was the last video, the detail, I think it was the detail video of the stitch along in the comments, there's a clue. There's a clue and it was a really good clue and I, I was like so excited. My mind just went <laughs> I ought to do this. So, so there's going to be some clues. There's going to be a surprise. Hopefully by the end of this weekend, I will have it all together for you guys. But stick around. I need your opinion. I do have happy mail winner from um, like Friday's video. I am still doing happy mail through the month of May. So cop, uh, comment, comment, comment. The more comments we get, the bigger the happy mail. Remember, 100 comments is just a greeting card size. Um, 200 comments is like one of those like small manila envelopes, just the small ones. And anything over 300 comments, I've got the 8.5 by 11 Happy Mail that I will be sending out. So comment on everything. Um, lots and lots of comments. I, I try really hard to comment back on everybody's. Um, sometimes, sometimes I don't know what to say. I appreciate it. Sometimes it's just a thank you very much. But just know that I appreciate all the comments, all the subscribes, all the likes, everything that you guys are doing. The channel is growing really fast. Um, I'm so impressed with everybody and I'm having so much fun. So, happy mail winner for Friday's video is Deb Neal. So Deb, I know the name sounds familiar. I don't know if I have your address in your in my file of things, but if you could email me to the vintage stitcher stash at gmail.com, the, uh, the link is below your mailing information and I will get that out. <clears throat> so I did send out happy mail and bag purchases yesterday. So everything got shipped out. 
Um, I mean, it, it's been a busy week. It's only Tuesday and it's crazy insane. I'm going to try and get those tracking numbers to everybody who purchased bags for me so that you have them because I did send them first class mail. I was trying to save everybody a little bit of money on shipping this time around. So I sent everything first class shipping instead of priority mail. So I'll get those tracking numbers to you. Um, it's going to be a crazy week for me. My husband, um, my husband works for a huge osb a plant factory it's a big and they built they make osb board and they make siding and flooring and and those sorts of things and he has worked there for 35 years he's been there for a long long time since his early 20s um and he has worked his way up into management and he's got a very good job but there's like four times a year where they have like a whole factory shut down and they do all this maintenance on, on the whole factory and all these huge projects. So this is that week. And um, he goes in for 5.30 and he doesn't get home until 8, 9 o'clock at night. So this whole week, um, I basically spend catering to his needs because he... Um, and I know that sounds very submissive and very, I don't know, 1950s. But he's extremely tired and he is extremely stressed. And I, um, the only thing that I can do to help is to make sure his home is quiet and comfortable. And there's food here and his meals are taken care of and his laundry is taken care of. And everything that he needs is by the back door every day so that he does not have to think about things. So I will be busy, you know, doing things like mowing the grass and taking care of the garbage and all the little things that he he normally picks up on, I will be doing. So my week is a little bit busier this week, um, which is okay. Um, by no means is he being, <laughs> I don't want anybody to get the wrong impression, by no means is he being a, a controlling jerk about this. It's just in me, I want his, his life to be very comfortable. And this is going to be a very stressful week for him. So you may not see me as much this week. <clears throat> um, and I do still have to babysit and, um, and work. I'm working today and tomorrow. So um, I probably won't be back until Thursday or Friday this week. So, it, it you know, like I said, it's going to be a little bit of a stressful week. But that's all right. So Happy Meal is out of the way. I have been working on... Um, I have some stitching updates, and I have a little bit of haul. A um, couple of things I bought off of D-Stash sites. Oh, I just love them. I've been working on my hometown, which I absolutely love this stitch. You know, I was so intimidated by the size of it when I first pulled it on. I thought, oh, I can't do this. I can't do this. But it has been wonderful. So this is where I'm at. I finished the tree with the birds. I finished this little tree over here this little grapevine, and now I'm working on this great big house here. And then once that's finished, I will do this section of grass and water, and then I will move on to like the third, the third large sheet. I am not in any hurry with this. Um, I sit down a lot of times in the morning when I'm having my coffee, I sit down and work on it. Um, sometimes in the evening, if, um, my husband's watching something on TV, I don't want to watch, I'll come out here and I'll stitch on that and I'll watch some floss two videos. Um, the fill-in parts are okay because, um, the babies are now a little bit more self-entertaining. So I can sit and work on that a little bit while, um, while they're playing. So it's puttering right along. And like I said, I'm not in any hurry for it. I know I have this stitch along coming up, um, which is another big project, but, um, I'm okay with it. I'm okay. Because the stitch along is going to be a six month project. This will be done long before that is finished. Um, I'm thinking by the end of summer, maybe even till, we're going on vacation. So I'm saying July or August that my hometown will be done. Um, so I'll have two big projects going, which is like big, big, big against my rules. But it's all right. It's all good. I've also been working on, let me flip this. I've been working on Hannah Bunting. This is a cute little one. <clears throat> and this is a Chester, Chester County collection. And so I've been working on this one. This one I have been, <clears throat> it's on a 32 count linen 
and it's pretty small. I've, I've needed to um, use my magnifying glass and my light. So this is where I'm at with that. <clears throat> So, and it's all alphabet, it's all words. So it's stitching up pretty quick and it's a very enjoyable stitch. I'm having a, a nice time with it. It is a little small <clears throat> and um, this is kind of my TV time stitch, but I got new glasses this week <clears throat> and they're an adjustment. I've had my old glasses for like two years and uh, you know, you get so comfortable with what you can see and what you can't see that you just kind of work around it. Well, I got new glasses with a new prescription and a new frame shape and a new style of nose piece on them. Um, so I've been in and out getting them adjusted and that sort of thing. And that, so by the end of the night, my eyes are just have been tired. But I like to have a TV time stitch. So what I pulled out was I pulled out a Santa. And I'm feeling kind of patriotic. So I pulled out the patriotic Santa. Um, this is from 2002. So I'm doing that Santa. And I have a very minimal start on that one. I just started it last night. So, um, and this is on a 28 count mushroom linen. Um, I'm doing two over two, so they're like 14 count size. And this was just like Hobby Lobby linen in the, it's early in the morning. Sorry about the glare if there's a weird glare. <laughs> I mean, the sun is just coming up. Um, this was just a Hobby Lobby um, from in their craft, I don't know, cross stitch section in their store. It's in the packages, it goes on sale all the time or it's 40% off all the time. So I had like 10 packages of that. So, you know, I fit, I and I have quite a few of these cards. I have quite a collection. <clears throat> I, have a, I have enough to keep me busy for a lifetime. But, um, so I've cut all my fabric insert all my fabric the same size so that I can just this is my go-to these are my this is going to be my travel projects this year I have them in my um my tote bag my stitch along tote bag so that I can just kind of grab them and go and I can do them in the camper I could do them in hotel rooms I don't know that I could do them driving but um hang on I'm going to adjust that adjust the phone just a little bit sorry about the Sorry about that glitch. I don't know. My phone just up, just up and shut off. I don't know if there was a time limit on it or what. Anyway, so in the nineties, I was, um, I was newly married. I was young. We got married right out of high school. So I was 18, 19 years old. We had babies and my husband was working. I was a stay at home mom. There was just no money for extra cross stitch patterns. Even at, you know, some of these were like $4. There was just no money for that stuff. Um, so if I got a pattern like this, it had to last me like a year to do. And it usually took me a year because I was busy with babies. So now that I'm older and I have disposable income, um, I'm buying all the, all the charts that I wanted to buy back in the 80s and 90s. And I'm just buying them. And if, if I just never do them and I just look at them, I'm okay with that too. So the other one is Seasonal Winter. And this is a Needle and J. Needle and J. Look how cute that is. Love it, love it, love it. And this one is from, let me see, is there a copyright date on it? It does not have a date on it anywhere, unless I'm missing it. No date. But it looks like it was probably from the late 80s, early 90s. So that one. And this is uh, the McCall's Heritage Collection Antique Sampler. And look at that. That is pretty. I am really loving that. I have not done a sampler like this with the this style this big um, yet. So I'm really looking forward to this one. This one too is copyrighted 1984. So, very, very pretty. I love it. Okay, so that was my haul. <clears throat> um, I have a surprise and it's gonna be for the stitch along people. Um, and you don't have to be in the stitch along to get it. You, it's available for everyone. Um, but it is going to be something to commemorate our time together doing our project together. 
So I have two ideas floating around in my head. Um, and I'm not sure how many options I'm going to be able to offer so that I can get these things out into a, a timely fashion, if that makes sense. So I have two focus fabrics that I'm gonna show you. And in the comments, I want personal opinions. I want to know which one you love. So the first one is this blue star. It's kind of very primitive. It's kind of got a creamy tan background with navy blue stars. Okay. So that is choice number one. So if you love the stars, comment the stars. I love the stars. Um, the second one is a vintage fabric. And I've had it for a long, long time. Um, and I have an entire bolt of it. So, I have an entire bolt of this too, but I have an entire bolt of it and I haven't quite known what to do with it. I love it. It's super cute. Um, it's very vintage-y. So, here it is. Like I said, I have a whole bolt of it. It, it, it is this super cute Christmas fabric. And I had thought since we are doing a Christmas stitch along that this might be cute and it's got different rows look how cute that is it's not Quakerish I have searched all over for some Quaker Christmas fabric and I have not been able to find anything that I like as much as this one so if you love the Christmas fabric let me know oh my goodness quite the glare. Sorry, I'm going to sit back a little bit so it's not quite in your face. So, I need to know. I'm taking a poll. Christmas fabric or star fabric? Like I said, I don't know how many options I'm going to be able to offer um, so that I can get things out on a timely manner. And it, it will be available to everybody but it will be kind of indicative of what we are doing with our stitch along. So it's gonna be kind of our first great big event. And um, I will be going on vacation starting next week. So nothing will get started probably until after June 1st when we get back um, because they just won't have any stitching time or sewing time because I'll, I'll be away. But let me know what you think. I would really love your opinions. I am going to cut it off here because I do have to get ready for work and it takes me a little while to upload and um, get everything set for the video to go out. So I hope you all have a great week and if you're out in the workforce or you're out around people or you're babysitting or whatever, remember to be kind, spread love, and find peace.